Hello everyone. Thank you so much for sitting and watching today. And today's topic will be about uh, the group need and looking for job or about any group that you can be joining trying to find a job. The reason why I decided I will be doing this video because I am uh, uh, encountering or seeing every single day these tens of messages of people sending saying I want any job I can do any job please help me I am stuck I need money oh I am living in this town and just PM me if you have any chance for me what does this mean when someone say i can do anything what does this mean so um when you say you can do anything you mean that you can be uh, going down a mine to uh, get coal out of it does this mean that you uh, can be uh, building a skyscraper does this mean that you uh, can be a gardener i have a very simple question these people who are already, for example, in Sweden and have been in Sweden for some time, didn't they have the chance or they didn't have the experience to know that Sweden doesn't have this word of anything to do? That these people, by any chance, got the experience by living in this country for some time that there is nothing called I can be doing anything did they, or maybe sometimes I would forgive people who are living abroad who doesn't understand the system in Sweden so they think that when they will write uh, I can do anything hundreds of people will say okay come and we will recruit you I will give a simple example if you want to be a driving trainer, you are a person who can drive people to ride a car. In loads of countries, anyone who can drive a car or can drive a truck, what do they do? They open a small office, they put a sign, they go and get registered in the tax office, or maybe they don't do this. And then they say, oh, we can be training people to be riding a motorcycle, driving a car or driving a truck. In Sweden, you need one year of education, one year of education to be a qualified, certified tutor to help people getting a license to be driving a car. Does this ring any bell? Would this give any sign what is the market here? What does this country require for anyone to do anything? If you want to be working as a cleaner, you need professional training for hygiene and sanitation. In addition of training how you can clean a place to be clinically clean. And we are talking about jobs that needs maybe a little bit of skill. So when you send saying, I want to work anything, no one will ever, never look or bother even to answer you. I will give another example. Few weeks ago, I have sent or I have posted on the group saying I am looking for someone to help me in cleaning four times a week for four hours from this time to this time I mentioned where I live I mentioned the position I mentioned the hours and I mentioned the salary I received almost 60 messages out of these 60 messages 50 people send me email saying interested that's it uh, people asking where do i live although i have posted this already on the ad how much will i get paid although this is 
already. I also have posted in the ad. Where do I live? Where, how many hours they were, will work? And what exactly is required in the job? Although I, I mentioned cleaning job. So when you are as employer sending or posting or advertising for a position and you get 60 messages, 50 of these messages are people asking about everything that was already mentioned in <clears throat> the advertisement. If I am an employer, why would I even care to answer or to look to the message or to the person or be interested to reply back? Why will I put the time if this person didn't put the time to read the advertisement? I got 10 or 11 people who have sent me lovely, <coughs> who have sent me lovely uh, emails or messages with all the qualifications they have, if they have been working as cleaner before or not, because not everyone needs a Harvard degree to be cleaning, but some people maybe have the skill or must have the time or want to have the chance to learn. And I had one of them saying, I am OCD, she has compulsive disorder and she is cleaning her place more than 10 times a day and it, she's living in a 40 square meters. And it is the only way for her to feel relaxed is to clean. And she's cleaning it over and over and over again. And the, if she got this job, it will help her really psychologically. At least she will be out of the home that she's always worried that it's not clean enough. She will be cleaning somewhere else. And above all, she will get paid. So she wants me to help her to get across this time that she is having in her life with the OCD. She had, she have had it for some time. And yes, it is a disease or an illness or whatever you would like to call it. Some people call it disease, some people call it illness, some people call it disorder, whatever. The term is not the, the mo most important thing right now. And she said she would love to be taking this job. So this person, when she sent me, she didn't say I am I had 20 years experience. She said that she have an illness and this will help her. Do you think a person like this, I wouldn't bother to meet? Of course, I would love to meet her. I received another, for example, message for someone saying, I have uh, education in marketing, but I work from home. And because I am working in another country with different time zones, so I am free in the morning. I can have the job. I had a guy who sent and said, I work very close to you, but I finish my work eight in the morning and I work only from three till eight in the morning. So I have the energy uh, uh, to be coming after my night shift to work in your place. And I am doing this and this and this. Do you think this person I wouldn't bother to be replying back to or to uh, invite him for an interview okay so what does this mean that we job seekers sitting lying back on the couch just doing nothing but sending i consider scam messages filling the inbox the uh, filling the inbox excuse me for my expression with bullshit messages you are only cluttering the inbox with useless messages if you are a job seeker and you really want to work why don't you put the time in advertising yourself why don't you put the time how would, would you ever get a job when you don't even invest the time in presenting yourself how are you selling this yourself over any job opportunity platform to get any job. How are you selling yourself? 
it's all about how you sell your, how you sell yourself how you market yourself how you present yourself you woman who is watching me how long do you take before you go out to uh, even to the supermarket to put clothes and makeup and fix your hair it could be taking an hour every single day you guy before you go and meet your friends how many friends how many hours do you take fixing your hair shaving your uh, beard trying like five six seven eight nine ten trousers to make sure that you are wearing the skinniest trouser you have to be a sh uh, showing off your uh, very muscly legs or your hamstring or your glute how much time do you spend trying different clothes so you can be looking as much you as possible how much time do you spend so if you spend you woman before going out with all the makeup with all the makeup with all the makeup putting on and for and fixing your hair and you guy you are putting all the time to be uh, waxing your hair and shaving your beard and trying all the trousers then you have the time to be putting in certain and then then you have the time to invest in selling and marketing yourself online this is what i'm talking about maybe you can't afford going to university but you can afford online courses or the short online trainings or there are hundreds of free materials either on youtube or other other platforms that can where you can sit watch and learn learn a new language learn a new skill please learn how to sell and market yourself anywhere that was for the video for today thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next uh, video and i promise then just the exact next video will be about how can you find a job in sweden thank you so much i hope that you have learned a little bit in, from this video i'm very sorry if i was a little bit harsh but sometimes people you really let me feel that i want to bang my head over the wall but anyway keep safe keep home and do not let the panic rule your minds your soul or your heart hey though